morning everyone I'm gonna make a quick uh, I'll call it a debunking video um, I've had uh, about five people get a hold of me in the last 28 hours or so uh, and, and you know uh, like I say all the time I don't believe uh, in coincidence I believe everything happens for a reason um, so I thought well I'm gonna check into this and uh, see what I can find out and uh, this is what it is and this is the truth of it um, uh, these people were wanting to know uh, what I thought or what my opinion was on uh, these uh, uh, cryptid attacks or cryptid attack that happened. I believe the first one was in October of last year, which really wasn't that long ago. And here again in February of this year uh, near Bumpus, Tennessee. Supposedly, uh, I guess the, the big one was... Uh, a lady or a gentleman were walking their dog on a leash and this uh, a cryptid, you know, dog man or whatever came up from nowhere and, and killed the dog and injured the person. And, you know, I, I really didn't, you know, get, get the, the uh, specific details of what actually supposedly happened. Um, but, but here, here, here's the truth of it. I'll just get right to the, to the bacon and eggs, so to speak. Um, this incident that they're, they're talking about that was, you know, blown out of proportion, excuse me, actually happened, uh, closer to Dover, Tennessee, which isn't that far from Bumpus. And of course, you know, just an earshot from the LBL and, uh, what had happened, there was three domesticated, uh, dog attacks, pretty, pretty close, you know, back to back. And, um, there was witnesses to all three of these attacks, people. So it was nothing strange, nothing cryptid, uh, n nothing like that. And, uh, I actually was, uh, able to get a hold of, uh, Deputy Chief Dale Ward from the Stewart County Sheriff's Department. And very nice gentleman, very informative. Uh, I know people are going to say, well, you know, they're, they're, they're taught to be that. They're covering it up. It's a conspiracy. Uh, absolutely nothing like that at all, people. J just zero. Um, it was just, uh, 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 it was three domestic dog attacks that were close to each other. Um, this was verified by witnesses. And it was simply just close to the LBL, so guess what? The beast of the LBL is out killing people or attacking. So um, it, it's a shame. It's just uh, it's just people wanting to keep the the keep the 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 myth of the LBL alive, and, and it's sad that they have to come up with lies and bullshit to to keep themselves relevant. Uh, and to and to keep the uh, the LBL relevant, um, I I don't know. I just hope everybody sees through the fog. Do your own research. Uh, it's it's not that hard. I, I within thirty thirty five minutes I had I had uh, answers to this uh, you know this supposable uh, cryptid attack. Um, what it is is the to be quite honest. And I know people say, well, when you got to say quite honest, that means it's a lie. Well, this is, this is obviously isn't a lie. But the, the cryptid world is uh, a caving in on itself. And there's just nothing new. The LBL is their heart and soul. So they have to build these bullshit lies to, to, uh, to keep, like I said, themselves relevant. And to keep the, the uh, LBL relevant and let the L LBL be what it is, a, uh, a mysterious and beautiful uh, uh, place that, that uh, everyone can go to and enjoy without being worried about being attacked by something. Um, I've made a lot of good friends along this journey and a lot of them live very close to the LBL. Um, Anywhere from, you know, Grand Rivers, which is just not that far away at all, to people that, you know, live 45 minutes, maybe an hour away. But they're there all the time. And Jeff made a very, very good point uh, when he said, look at all the different uh, uh, activity groups that go out uh, in the LBL and have been for years. You know, Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts, uh, uh, you know, just uh, field trips for 
for uh, kids and seniors. And I mean, this has been happening since probably the beginning of of uh, beginning of time out there for the LBL because it's it's just such a, a wonderful place to explore. Not a single attack on anybody. Nothing. Nobody. I mean, maybe a, a rabid ground squirrel tried taking somebody down or or a uh, kamikaze woodpecker, you know. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it, it's just it's just sad that so many lies um, are, are made and people believe it. I'm just asking everyone out there and, and not so much, uh, you know, people that support me because, uh, you know, the bullshit does not. Uh, exist within them, uh, and and I'm not trying to, uh, you know, I'm not trying to, uh, uh, I guess, downgrade or badmouth anybody that uh, uh, that that wants to believe this. But give the truth a chance. You know, everybody likes to be entertained, including myself. I, you know, I like to, you know, hear them kind of you know, spooky, weird stories or whatever. But you know what? I can rub two brain cells together and figure out it's just entertainment. It's just fun. Um, some of these people have taken it to, uh, to the next level or to extremes and tried to make a livelihood out of it. Uh, you know, they say, well, there's no money to be made. They're not making a cent off of anything. Bullshit. It, it, it's, it, it, that's, so so uh, easy to uh, uh, debunk within itself. There, I mean, they wouldn't be out there selling their things and 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 promoting stuff that they have personally to make money um, if they weren't making money on it. And it has nothing to do with paying for research or anything like that, because you know there's maybe one or two real researchers out there and they do it out of their own pockets uh, uh the 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 most legitimate one that i know of um besides uh, uh martin groves is david pilates and uh you know you, you can tell they're they're a level above everybody else uh, you know you don't have to wear the uh uh the ship boots around them uh, Everything else is just, uh, it's just entertainment. And please see it just for that. Again, don't take my word for it. Search into, here's what I want you to do. And, and I know, uh, the, the, you know, my adversaries out there, you know, are, uh, are going to try to, you know, uh, advise ag against this. But look into, not the story, but look into the people themselves that are producing these stories. And I'm talking about go back to their childhood. Look at their real life. And and this is what we had to do during these documentaries. The, the documentary that we're that we're currently making. Yeah, everybody has a skeleton in their closet. I get it. And this is getting off topic or this debunking thing at uh, uh, you know this cryptid thing, but I, I have to say this, get it off my chest. Look at the people. Um, <laughs> you would not believe what we have found out about some of these self-proclaimed uh, researchers and podcasters. Again, we all have skeletons, but, you know, it goes a little deeper than that. Check into these people, all right? That's all I'm saying. You don't have to take my word for it, and you shouldn't. Uh, do it yourself. And then the light bulb will go on, or hopefully it does. But uh, it, it's time that people start embracing the truth instead of lies. It's much more rewarding, but, you know, like I said, for entertainment value, have at it. Um, you won't even have to watch this documentary if you just do a little bit of research on the people that are within the cryptid community. And I'm going to say it again. Research these people back to childhood. It's not that damn hard, people. It's not that hard. And I know there's a lot of you out there that say, well, why should we judge people off the past? You're right. Everybody can change for the better. I believe that 100%. But... 
when their past starts bleeding over into the present. And then it's, uh, you know, to the point where they're pulling the wool over his people, people's eyes currently to fulfill their own agenda. And it's working. Then it's time to call them out. So, anyway, I know that got off topic, and I appreciate you sticking around and listening to it. But uh, the the, uh, the supposed cryptid attack that happened uh, around Dover, Tennessee, did not happen. Um, it's confirmed. Uh, you know, I confirmed it from the Stewart County Sheriff's Department. Uh, witnessed domestic dog attacks. People, nothing more than that. It's just uh, irrelevant people trying to keep. Uh, their livelihood relevant. So, as always, God bless, Godspeed, and I'll talk to you later.